Hey, what's up guys? I've got another great simple little project for you that only requires three elements. An Arduino of whatever flavor you choose. A display, in this case I'm using a 1.3 inch 128 by 64 OLED uh, with the Aspy interface. And this little guy here, which is a UV sensor. Now this particular one is from Adafruit, but you can find one uh, on eBay in whatever flavor you like. It only uses three pins. We have positive, the output, and negative. So in our hookup for this, we have the interface pins for the screen, VCC and ground, going to our power rail. Next one is not connected. Then we have data in, which is master out, slave in, clock, chip select, data command, and reset. And they're hooked up to the Nano. The exact hookup is in the description in the code, so I'm not gonna go over it here. Then we have our UV sensor. It has uh, ground power and an analog output going back to A0. Now that's it. That's pretty simple. Now what this is going to do is it's going to input output a value for the UV index. Which if you look it up, 0 to 2 is low, 3 to 5 is moderate, 6 to 7 is high, 8 to 10 is very high, and 11 plus is extreme. Let's go take a look at the code and then I'll show you how it works. All right, here we have the code for our UV detector. Now we are using SPI, the serial peripheral interface, and we don't really need the wire. We're not using I2, I squared C. We do, however, need the driver for the board and the graphics library. Now down here we have our connections. Mossy is on pin 9, that's master out, slave in. Clock is on pin 10. DC is on 11. Chip select is on 12. And reset is on 13. And this is where we initialize the display. This is the constructor in the library, Adafruit SH1106. And this is what we're calling it in our sketch, display. And we're initializing it with mossy clock, data command, reset, and chip select, which we just specified up here. Now down here we have a graphic that I've created. So we have a constant unsigned character, progmem. It is sent to the EEPROM, and it is the Learn Electronics logo. If you don't know how to create uh, a graphic. I have a video on that and I'll link to it in the description below. And we're declaring one variable called UV raw. So this is very simple, very simple sketch. So we activate the display. We clear the buffer, which is what these two lines will do. And we display our little logo. So display draw bitmap, X position, Y position, the name of the bitmap, the width, the height, and the color. Then we show it, we wait for two seconds, and we clear the display. And we come down here, set our text size to two, color to white, position upper left corner, and we display the title, UV meter, same as before. Now we come down here to our loop, and UV raw equals the analog read of A0. Set text size to two, cursor in the upper left corner, and we print UV index. And this is the logic section. If UV is less than two, we print low, if it's greater than 2 and less than 6, it's moderate. 
if it's greater than 5 and less than 7 it's high and oh we look at that there's a little mistake there that should be greater than 7 and less than 8 it's very high otherwise it is extreme and then we display it wait a second clear the display and we start the whole thing over again right here so very simple let's go take a look at it in action all right let's take a look at it in action power it up and the first thing you see was our logo there it is the logo then the title and it says UV index and right now it says low now for our UV source I've got a UV LED it is not very powerful so I've got to get it pretty close so you can see how it works okay so I shine the UV light on and as I get closer you see how it changes it now this works best outdoors which is what it's made for and it's a simple little project that you can whip together in a few minutes put this into a case and you've got yourself something pretty cool so I hope you like this if you did please give me a thumbs up comment share and if you haven't subscribed yet you really should because we have a giveaway coming on St. Patrick's Day of an Arduino Zero and the only thing you have to do to be entered is be a subscriber all right I'll see you next time